So, muli magandang araw po sa ating lahat. In uh, 2024 and beyond, the Marcos administration will be pulling out all stops to market the Philippines as a hot investment destination. That is good. But we have to ask, paano tayo magiging competitive sa pandaigdigang merkado kung tumataas ang bilang ng nagugutom? Maraming Pinoy ang nagtitiis sa low-quality jobs at ang learning poverty ng ating kabataan ay pinakamalala sa East Asia and Pacific region. Mr. President, ang binabalangkas nating 2024 national budget ay dapat maghatid ng solusyon sa mga pinakaseryosong developmental at fiscal challenges ng bansa. Dapat nating tugunan ang epekto ng tumataas na inflation sa Pilipinas kasama ng high interest rates sa purchasing power ng piso. Higit dyan, dapat nating aksunan sa pamamagitan ng 2024 budget ang kalunos-lunos na 2.3 milyong Pilipino na bumaba sa poverty line dahil sa COVID-19 pandemic. Sa taong 2024, Mr. President, kailangan nating ng national budget na nakatapak sa lupa. Kailangan nating ng national budget na walang mispriorities. Ang limitadong pondo ng bayan dapat mapunta sa aktual na kailangan ng ating mga kababayan. We have to do so much amid a very, very tight fiscal space. Like many countries in the post-pandemic era, our fiscal situation is characterized by high debt and high deficit. We need to better manage our national debt and the deficit, but more importantly, set spending priorities that raise growth. Growth that is both inclusive and fiscally sustainable. And yes, That means re-channeling allocations like confidential funds in civilian agencies with no direct relation to national defense and public safety and funds that eat up other sources of development financing like the Maharlika Investment Fund. Ngayong panahon ng krisis, malayo ang maaabot ng bawat piso ng pamahalaan sa pag-angat ng buhay ng Pilipinas.